Yo, before I even get into the video, bro, I want y'all to go over and subscribe to Shakedown 2012's channel. This is his footage, his gameplay. This is not mine. I'm giving him all the credit. I'm going to put his link in the description and down below in the chat. But let's go ahead and get to it, bro. We got some Drew League footage, and now we can finally see the game with dudes that actually know what they doing because with their cell phone footage, let's be honest, he didn't know how to play the game. So we can see the game look as best as it can. Let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all know how I do it. I like to break down a couple of plays that I like. And number one, as you see right there, let's get into these block animations. Dog, these shits look absolutely good. Now, if you know about me, my problem with NBA Live 16 was the block animations look terrible. Matter of fact, let me spotlight some of the ones that look good in this video. Right here, bro. You're going to see DeAndre Jordan pulling up in that paint, dog. Not letting Harden come in with that dunk, bro. And these clips, DeAndre Jordan look absolutely crazy, dog. This is let me know that rim protector badge. That rim protector is finna be crazy. Hold on. Look at this. No, sir, Boogie. Hold on. Yo, DeAndre Jordan was in these clips blocking some shit, dog. Next thing, bro. What we're going to highlight is the camera angle in the game, bro. Immediately, when you go into the paint, it doesn't look like it's too far, bro. So just take the time. And look at the camera. Look at this play right here with LeBron. The camera doesn't seem too far. On Live 16, that was my main problem with it. I'm liking how this camera looks. It's moving. It's dynamic. It's kind of like the 2K camera, to be honest with you. That's the closest thing I can compare it to. But next, this next animation right here. Y'all might think that this is nothing. But as, but I'm the kind of dude, I notice the small animations. And I notice the smallest shit, and I be liking it. So, you're going to see this LeBron. He's getting bumped by Harden, right? So he decides to put him in the post, and it looks realistic. It was no transition that we had to wait for to get into the post. He immediately put him in the post, backed him down, got this post hook. And finally, the last thing that I want to address in this video is the shot meter and the green releases that we are seeing. So when I first initially watched all of these gameplays, I started to think, damn, there's a lot of green releases that are going on. But then I had to sit back and think, we are so far from when the game officially releases. And matter of fact, we even far from when the demo come out. So don't look into the green releases too much because I guarantee you they have not had the time to sit down and break down how they want their shooting, how they want their shooting sliders to be when the game officially comes out. So don't look into that too, too much, but also take a note on it, you know what I'm saying? And also the shot media. I keep hearing a lot of people, a lot of people are loving the shot media. A lot of people are not too much in love with the shot media, but I don't have a problem where it is. I like where it's located. I like how it looks. I have no problem with it. I know I can learn to love it eventually if I do hate it, but if you don't like it, I think it's maybe an option to turn it off. But that's the vid, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like, subscribe, click the notifications, go to Shakedown channel, show his video some love. Also, man, them block animations, bro, I'm still on those. Them shits look crazy. But more videos are coming out today, bro. We out.